time difference has made an issue with the booking for this taxi. I've spent more money than I care to share just being extorted. A flash flood warning is in effect for this area until 12.30 p.m. At least we're on the seventh floor. You made it? The adventure begins. Are you ready for a seven hour flight? Not in economy. One day we'll be on the PJ and there'll be none of this. It's a pretty good sign whenever you're ready to board the flight and somebody starts talking about XRP in front of you. Yeah, we need to talk to them. Hopefully we'll sit next to them. <laughs> Make the flight a little bit more interesting. <laughs> There's gonna be a guy holding a sign up for us and he's gonna take us in a nice car. 40 minute drive to the hotel. We're gonna get settled, we're going for dinner, and then we're gonna pass out. And if we don't pass out, we're hopefully gonna meet some community members. And then tomorrow's a big day. Time difference has made an issue with the booking for this taxi. It cost me a lot of money. And it might be gone. You paid it up front? Yes. Oh. While we were in immigration, all the messages came back from everywhere around the world when we got the signal. One of the messages was from the taxi company, the chauffeur. The chauffeur told me that the driver had come to pick, pick us up like 10 hours ago, but we weren't here. They're not gonna give me a refund or give me another ride for free because I didn't confirm the time with them. I was on a plane. <laughs> How am I supposed to confirm? There's a really good solution for this that is a perfect segue. We're going to talk about it in the car, but... Very frustrating start, but now we've got to book an Uber, which we could have done in the first place. When you have a bad experience in the normal world, you get a refund. I've spent more money than I care to share today in the last hour because I got no refunds for mistakes that weren't mine or just being extorted. Just like with e-commerce, you can get refunds and sometimes you do get refunds. That whole system is coming to the XRP ledger and it's called clawbacks. And it does a whole load of cool things like if there's a dispute on how much money you paid or you paid the wrong amount to someone or whatever, you can actually retrieve the tokens back from the recipient's address into the sender's address. So that sounds scary because people are reaching into your account and like, take in funds but you also will have the ability to reach into someone else's account and take their funds I'm gonna raise something here that everyone's gonna get triggered about it's the buyback I, th I think it's a little bit confusing because there's terminology used where it's basically tokens issued on the ledger that would allow for a buyback to take place so there's a whole series of steps where they go through like compliance digital identity but essentially what can happen is, with the approval of the owner or the recipient of the tokens, the issuer of the tokens, and issuer is the difficult part because we don't know how issuer is defined, whether that is the issuer of a token on a side chain, or is the XRPL the issuer, or is the sender of a payment the issuer? Like there's so many unknowns here, but the issuer of a payment can claw back the tokens from the recipient. So if you have an opt-in type thing, you could have it where an entity says, okay, these tokens, we want to take these tokens from your account at $50,000. You would opt in for that and there'll be like an audit process to make sure that happens. But essentially what it means is that the buyback is actually physically possible on the blockchain as a result of clawbacks. Whether that means XRP can be um, clawed back or whether it has to be an issued token on the XRP ledger that can be clawed back, that's up for debate. But also, if you tokenize anything on the XRP ledger that is backed by XRP, essentially clawing back that issued token is also clawing back the value from XRP. So we're basically gonna have to ask David Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> what issuer means in this instance because otherwise it actually makes a difference between whether an XRP buyback is possible or not. Hey, Future Lewis here. It would seem in the time from the trip in New York where I'm talking about clawbacks all the way till present day, clawbacks have been announced on the XRP ledger. More information has also come out and it does certainly seem that my suspicions in my opinion piece at the end were in fact true.
that this is only for tokens on the XRP ledger rather than XRP itself. I think it's important to explore all the, op the options when you're looking at something like this. So if you're exploring all the options, you have to look at XRP, you have to look at tokens issued. One really good distinction that I saw somewhere online was that this tokens are made on side chains. The coin of XRPL is XRP. There's coins and there's tokens. This is very much for tokens, which was my suspicion anyway. You'll see my explanation at the end. I just thought I might add that. Let's get back to the video. Emergency alert. <laughs> National Weather Service, have a look. look. A flash flood warning is in effect for this area until 12.30 p.m. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Tonight, the Big Apple is a big mess, and tens of millions of Americans are experiencing torrential rain and record flooding. Subway lines turned into waterfalls, and buses looked more like yeah, boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Residents are urged to stay indoors as dangerous flooding covers entire neighborhoods. At least we're on the seventh floor. It's fine. So right now we're about to go into a stylist appointment. I need to not be in hoodies anymore, right? In front of the camera, I need to look smart. Like what's coming? Like all these people in suits, nice clothes. I need to be. I need to be looking like that. Hi, nice to meet you. So. Leave it to me to get Jesus to put yeah. together a wardrobe. That's what it requires, I think. Yes, um, we're going to start you really easy, so you're not going to be overwhelmed. We're going to have some basic choices of things that you can mix and match that I think go with like who you are, your style. I feel like undeserving of this attention. Um. <laughs> For what's to come, this is like not only necessary, but it's like it will make sense when you see what the destination is. This whole clawback thing. It's really important because in crypto in general, right now, if you get scammed, you're never getting your tokens back. You have to go to the police. The police aren't going to do anything because they don't know the laws. Clawbacks would actually allow people who got scammed to get their crypto back. So that's why also clawbacks is massively positive, not just for refunds and all of that, but scams. Scams will be a thing of the past on the XRP ledger. I hope that this part of the video gets you all excited and Ultimately, the, the aim here was to bring you to the party with us, so here we go. I watch you all the time, bro. <laughs> Every day. Oh I show you your video, bro. Thanks, man. We are live right now. Just for crypto like this guy. I like that. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Look at that line. Oh, my. That cue goes around me. Oh, no, you can't. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I love the hat. Look at the hat. Big fan. Great content. Great content. Great content. Have been a good time so far? Yeah, I'd like to get in though. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta join the back. People watch my videos apparently. <laughs> Thank you everyone who was in that who was in the line who's saying hello to me. It's like I, I know there's lots of the number of people who are subscribed is real and I'm seeing how it's real. It's just so surprising. Everyone's so nice. And there's so many people. We've been walking for like 20 minutes non-stop. People saying hello. It's crazy. Very thankful. <laughs> How long was that? Well, it, it kind of flew in, to be honest, didn't it? It wasn't About too bad. 40 minutes? 45 minutes, I would say, yeah.
have fought these battles and together we have won. Progress is worth fighting for and you guys are worth fighting for. It's like it didn't happen, and that was I woke up from that dream, you know. We can we can talk about that later, I think. But uh, it's like a hangover without alcohol. Just like a pure tiredness hangover. Amazing though. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to go back to clawbacks. But, oh, one thing, I was going to ask David Schwartz about the the clawback thing and what an issue token is. He was inundated, like there was, he couldn't move. At, at a certain point, when we were right by him, we could play the clip where Molly was saying, let's go and see Brad Kimes. Can I talk to Brad Kimes? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, thank you. He literally ran away. Ran, like not walking, <laughs> ran away. He didn't run away from us. He didn't run away from us, no. Which, we, which was our worst fear, but it wasn't, that wasn't it. He had too, too many people around him. We never got to ask him. We never got to give him the shorts. It wasn't the right environment to do that in the first place. Uh, we will do that at some point, but now wasn't the time. I might as well talk about like this whole buyback thing and clawbacks and my real thoughts. So for everyone who's actually watching, you can understand the context of everything. For all of those people who don't care, you're gonna clip this bit and use it out of context, but that's fine. Clawbacks are an absolutely necessary part of the way this whole ecosystem works, right? You have to have refunds as a thing. If you're gonna have e-commerce on blockchain, you have to have refunds. So you need clawbacks. When it gets to the, the buyback side of things, reaching into people's wallets and taking tokens out, outside of the e-commerce and the other side of things that clawbacks are really made for, there is a side of things that a buyback is absolutely possible. The thing that gets everyone riled up is that everyone thinks when I say buyback, it means XRP buyback. It doesn't necessarily mean that. I actually would go as far as to say, it doesn't feel like XRP, an XRP buyback would be possible. I have a feeling, just as, as Lee raised the other day, behind the scenes, that it sounds like it's gonna be issued tokens. If we're talking about issued tokens, that's probably on a side chain. Any token that's issued on a side chain, if it's set up in such a way where you've got a property, for example, that's tokenized and it's held on a side chain, a company like who want to repossess the home might be able to come in and just take those tokens out, out of that side chain, right? The buyback though, seems to have this negative connotation, like it has no use, but it does have a use. Buybacks do have a use. It's essentially a, a marketplace where one entity buys another thing from another entity. That's anything. <laughs> that's anything you do. You buy a car, that's a transaction. You buy a coffee, that's a transaction. A buyback is a transaction, but you're buying something that doesn't have a real like solid known value. And so, one side of that entity could say, we want to buy back this token, we think it's worth $50,000. They buy it. People are getting all scared about the XRP buyback thing. I don't think that is what we're calling here in this amendment. It's not an XRP buyback, but it enables the functionality for such a thing to happen for tokens on sidechains. That's my honest opinion and feeling about that. Um, and by the way, I haven't said anything online that basically says, perfectly XRP buyback is going to be possible with this new amendment that's not what I've said go back and check the tweets I said a buyback and and that's actually quite accurate tokens on sidechains could be bought back using clawbacks among a series of other things so there we go you come in we're about 
20 minutes from having to leave the city for this trip. I'm sure we'll be back. I'm sure Lee will love coming back as well. It was a great time. I'm not sure I could repeat this speed of, of events and like the chaos for much longer. Uh, I'll be happy to get back to my family and see my daughter off consistently to preschool and all of that stuff. But I wanted to summarize the trip as a whole, get into a few particulars and uh, then we'll be off to the airport. One of the things that people don't realize is that actually how much work went into this and it wasn't necessarily that it needed to happen. We could have run around with an iPhone the whole time, which we basically did. <laughs> Fine. But what we did was we tried to do the best thing and deliver the most high quality experience for everyone to join us on this trip. And so there were lots of people in the background that made this whole trip possible. Like the, the first one, above all other people, was the, the, the person holding this camera. Cameraman Lee, editor Lee, multifaceted individual, just uh, was an absolute champ in this whole thing. Taking photos, being patient, being willing to work like through the night. And actually, this is very good. Really, really good. So much fun. Love this game. People who weren't even here that were offering their support and, and guidance in things like Scott, you know who you are, talking with me on the phone, like psyching me up for this event that he knew what was coming and I didn't kind of thing. So um, then we've also got Amanda who helped with the styling and giving me a new look. Look, at, I've got a new look. It's, cra I, it's crazy. This is a, a real turning point with all of these individuals playing a role in putting something together that's bigger than us. And I saw that, how much bigger it is than us in the way the community reacted, the way things were walking to the back of the line and being in the event and it was just non-stop for like five hours of, of meeting people and hearing stories. I'm gonna get into that in a second. Hey, it's Future Lewis again. Everyone who took pictures with me, I really, really would love to see those pictures. I'm sure that there's been like a quarter of them that I've actually seen. If you can go onto x.com and tag me in the photos, I'll make sure I retweet it. I'll give you a follow as well. I just love to see all the photos. Back to the video. But let's get back to the event. While I was walking through the line to get to the back, loads of people were asking me to jump the line, jump the queue and get like get in and so I can get in early. And I really appreciate the, the sentiment. It's obviously not something I'm gonna do and it's not in my character. And I, I really appreciate Mason Black's tweet about that whole situation. But that tweet, which you can see on screen, is, is, the, is how I felt received. Everyone was so nice, zero haters. One of the more important things that I discovered from this is that there is a core audience, that they're on the same page, you know, and they, they turned up and they, they said hi. And it was just, sometimes the numbers on YouTube don't, aren't real. They don't feel real. And then you see people in, in reality, in like the real world, uh, or the matrix, wherever we are right now, who actually acknowledge that they, they turn into real people. The numbers turn into real people. I think that was really important for me to see. So I'll continue to do my best. We've, we've enjoyed this type of content thoroughly. We've had so much fun filming and walking around and chaos. We really would love to apply more of this style of content to the channel where also, in this video, you learned about clawbacks, right? You may not have realized, but you learned about clawbacks in this video. And I would love to integrate the complexities of crypto and digital assets, but also make it fun like this. This was tremendously fun. So if you like that, let me know in the comments if you want to see more like that in London, wherever we go. It's so much fun for us. I hope it's fun for you. So with all of that said, we're going to go to the airport now. It's been a wonderful trip, of course. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed being here with me. Stay motionless. We'll see you in the next one. This is Dark Horse whenever I mention the buyback.